NASA has just published its 2017-2018 software catalog, which lists the many apps, code libraries and tools that pretty much anyone can download and use. Of course, most of it is pretty closely tied to, you know, launching spacecraft and stuff, which most people don't do. But here are a few items that might prove useful to tinkers and curious lay people alike. Say you're building a drone or satellite from scratch, I mean, why not? You may want to start with the Consultative Committee for Space Data Systems File Delivery Protocol, a standard tool for getting large files to and from spacecraft. Once you've got the imagery on the ground, you might want to put it through Pixelearn, which lets you set rules about certain pixels and patterns letting the program automatically find and categorize things like craters, buildings and so on, if it's fancy multispectral imagery. Consider snatching the self-explanatory lossless hyper, multispectral data compression software, as well, and you may also want JPL's Stereo Vision software suite to help set up stereoscopic cameras. Use video image stabilization and registration to keep things steady under turbulence. UAV zone flight conditions, you can use CART 3D to simulate the 3D airflow situation. There are autonomous precision landing navigation system. Is to use years of cruise missile technology to synthesize the film photographic and topographic maps, if it is a whole team of unmanned aerial vehicles. Then you may need formation flying system for UAVs and satellites can help each device encryption communication, and maintain the formation of the software. NASA has a global reference atmospheric models that can simulate the Earth, Venus, Neptune and Titan. Haspop is a full-on iOS app that lets you browse through a constantly updated worldwide database of natural hazards like fires, storms and earthquakes. NASA also has a Worldview satellite imagery browsing and downloading tool, the fastest can be seen just four hours before the capture of the screen. Tell HR they're about to blast off with aerospace-grade hiring practices. First there's the integrated cognitive assessment tool, combining person, system, and mission which tells you whether someone is capable of performing it. Then, in order to be sure you're not hiring a klutz, submit them to the fine motor skills iPad test. Never read a cover letter again. Just unleash the semantic text mining and annotation for information extraction and trend analysis tool on the pile of resumes you've got waiting for your attention. There's a neat Unity-based spacewalk game in which you or students can simulate various EVAs conducted by I. ISS Astronaut Len Research Center. The Early Years is an iPad app that takes you on a tour of this amazing R&D facility in a bunch of interactive media from between 1941 and 1979. You can check up on the latest coronal mass ejections and magnetosphere changes with the Space Weather app for Android.